guys right now we have a problem on acc and that is the custom bop it is terrible at the moment and this is not to blame any league like apex or lfm because realistically it's not their job to create the bop for the game it should have been done by kunos but obviously we're having to take things into our own hands and it's just not working and i'm going to explain why so let's get stuck into the video now i was supposed to race yesterday in aor around watkins Glen, but i had a headache my head was killing me all day so i said you know what i'm not even going to do it to myself but i did end up watching um some streams i watched jardis i think i was flicked through printers boothbees i watched a load of different streams and what was obviously clear was the hondas were way too fast and it just got me thinking like how can we actually balance this game properly because even though we have the tools to create this custom BOP, it's still very, very difficult to get it correct. There's so many different aspects to a, a race. You know, you've got weather, you've got tire wear, um, the track conditions, and all these things count to something. And again, when you've got guys who are literally at the top of their game, like guys like McCormack or Shera, they're so fast that they're almost the exception to the rule. At the times they're able to do and the times they're able to get out of cars, 99.9% .9 of people are not getting anywhere near that. So it's very hard to judge a BOP off of guys who are just special. Even for the top guys in the game, it's very hard to, to match up to what they can do. Plus, you also have to factor in the case that a lot of people have a competitive interest in how, how good the BOP is. Now, if you don't know what I'm saying, basically, if I go into a server and I want to hot lap a car, and I know I'm driving, let's say I'm driving a Lamborghini. Am I going to go all out and go as fast as I can if I know my time is going to probably be the time that BOPs the Lamborghini? No, I'm going to leave something in reserve because I want a competitive edge. Of course, every driver wants a challenge, but let's be real. Let's be honest. Every driver loves a challenge as long as they're slightly quicker. No one wants a challenge where they're two temps or three temps behind or or slower you know so like you have to factor into that and you know i don't have a problem against it because at the end of the day we're all competitive everyone wants to win and you know you shouldn't realistically be punished just for being super fast but at the same time we don't want to ruin the competition we don't want to see what we saw in air while yesterday where the honda is just way quicker it wasn't even <laughs> it wasn't even worth watching the actual actual race in terms of who's going to finish first and second and I guess you know you see the same thing in the real world um you've seen it in f1 with red bull and stuff like that but in sim racing we have a unique perspective where we can actually make things more perfect than what they are in the real world so why not use the opportunity to do that and for me i feel like the only thing we can do technically really is to maybe you know take the top five or six fastest times from a hot lap server and work out the average time between them all that should be what BOP is the car instead of taking the absolute fastest car because otherwise you're just going to keep ending up with comments like this. This is getting ridiculous, guys. What the fuck is this quality? It is really close for P3. Like, if you delete all the Hondas, Yo. it's pretty close. I don't know what's going on here, but them Hondas are fucking rapid. absolute weapons they are now boy for everybody's four tens of the merch four not that we we didn't excel here okay but four tens now you can see how frustrating it is for everyone who is involved and again for me who's someone who was just watching yesterday it kind of took a little bit of the shine off the race because after quality we knew exactly who was going to win and pretty much, you know, I got kind of got bored halfway through. And look, BOP will never ever be 100% perfect, but I do believe there are ways to improve it significantly for us to have better racing and just more enjoyment in terms of different cars and stuff like that. Um, nowadays, you see, there's no one really using the Audi. No one's really bothering with the Lambo this season. You know, and, you know, bad BOP just makes certain cars literally obsolete. For instance, I took the 488 because I wanted to try it because I saw no one was literally BOP in this car. And there's been a few races in AOI this season where the 488 has literally been the fastest Ferrari. Obviously, I think Fox drives the 488, but when I was going into the servers, nobody's BOP in this car. So I don't know whether they're just randomly picking the BOP numbers, but it's always minus 20 plus, minus 30 plus, whatever. So I went on LFM, I think Valencia, I tried it and it was rapid. I was like yo this car is actually 
I can actually match the times I'm doing in a 296 comfortably and I don't drive the 488. So I know that sometimes, you know, if there's not people willing to BOP it, the wrong BOP is going to be distributed. At the end of the day, I feel like every car that has been picked, you know, we know what cars are picked for a season for air war because once you sign up, um, you, you sign up in a car, whatever your car you pick, we know what cars are in the league. So every single one of those cars should be tested and the lap time should average out over the top five fastest times. So it, it's not all put onto one person to BOP a whole series of cars because again, if it's someone like um, McCormack or, or Shera or any of these super fast guys, what they can do in the car is not what the majority can do. They're an exception to the rule and we should never go off just the exception because you know it's not truly representative of the whole you know the whole community as a collective most people are not able to do what they can do and it's not a dig at those guys it's definitely a hats off to those guys because it's just too fast but at the same time i feel like it can negatively affect the bop sometimes because it kind of skews the picture a little bit and we definitely need to get it right because we don't want to be seeing these half a second gaps in quality you know half a second gaps save that stuff for f1 man we, we we can do better in the sim racing world if you guys have got any better ideas of what we can do to improve the bop in the future leave it in the comment section down below trust me it's definitely needed and to be honest it shouldn't be up to us man who knows should actually be putting the work in to fix the balance of performance because it's just it's just not good at the moment even as much as people are trying with custom bop it's not working the way it, it should because when you mess with the weight it's very very hard to get that right because you have to think again in a racing situation it can be very different you know, if you're running 40 minus 40 kg and the track temps are 32 or whatever like that in the race you're going to have an absolutely massive advantage when it comes to tire wear and those are the things that is very difficult to balance and police so I guess it is what it is. Hopefully it can be improved, man. But anyway, guys, Cryptic TNG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.